Hello and welcome. Uh, today is October 16th, 2019, and I'm here to do our daily check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into this reading. First, I'd like to pull a spirit oracle animal for Divine Masculine and a spirit animal for Divine Feminine. What is the energy of this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine, Swan Spirit, time for a deep dive. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. And it's the Swan. So again, whenever I see the Swan, you know, this Divine Masculine is looking for their true Divine counterpart. And it's time for them to dive deep, <laughs> to find, you know, where is their feminine, okay? What is it that they want in their life? And I really feel like this masculine is really thinking of their feminine, you know, and wanting to reconnect with them also, okay? And for feminines, rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> You know, with this, uh, you know, what I'm feeling is that this is wisdom, okay? This is wisdom and guidance and good luck and good fortune. So as this masculine is looking, you know, for their true love, for what I can feel, feminines, I feel like, you know, you're not aware that your masculine is going to approach you. Because, you know, what I'm seeing here is that with this number 49, that reduces to a four. Okay, and four is stability, you know, and I really feel that this masculine, okay, is on their way to their feminine, okay? This masculine is going to dive deep and look within themselves to find, you know, what is their true guidance in terms of love. And I feel like it's with the bunny, Oh, And guys, bunny is a sign for me because... I always call my masculine my snow bunny. <laughs> He's my snow bunny, and I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so let me go ahead and pull and see what is the situation revolving this masculine when it comes to this one spirit, and what is the current situation revolving around this feminine with the rabbit spirit. You know, I really feel like feminines, you know, if you have children, I feel like you're tending to your children. You're not aware, you know, of your masculine's approach or coming towards you, and I can feel, and now is, is a lucky time for you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So, let's go ahead and see. Divine Masculines, we have your happy ending, but it came up in reverse. And so, you know, I'm feeling with this Masculine, they're not happy right now from what I can see. You know, um, they're looking for their happy ending, you know, and I feel like, you know, their their strength, their courage, their creativity, okay, is, is kind of blocked. Um, and also, like, uh, working towards compassion. You know, I also feel like they're, they're looking for that also because, you know, for this masculine, when it's time for them to dive deep, I feel like they're trying to find that energy, okay? I feel like they're trying to figure it out right now, from what I can see. 
and a feminines, we have your intuition. You know, and, and I see that. I feel like, you know, you're just minding your business. You sense something, okay? And, you know, and obviously it's your masculine. I feel like your masculine is trying to dive deep to find, you know, their happy ending with their feminine. And feminines, you know, you are using your intuition, okay? You have a sense of knowing from what I can feel here, okay? When it comes to your masculine. So let's find out. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and pull some romance angels and see. How is this masculine currently feeling towards their feminine? Okay. And how is this feminine feeling towards their masculine? How is this masculine currently feeling towards their feminine? And feminines, how are you feeling towards your mask? We have your passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This masculine's feeling their passion towards their feminine. They want their happy ending. Right now, they're not having their happy ending. They want their happy ending, from what I can see, you know. But, you know, they're not having their happy ending right now. And they are feeling the passion towards you, feminines. And also, we have here, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So, masculines, you know, if you feel like you've been blocked, okay, or you've been blocking yourself, this almost feels like self-sabotage. Because, you know, I feel like this masculine is alone, looking for their divine counterpart. And it's time for them to, to dive deep into the situation. But I can feel, and the situation is that this masculine needs to free themselves from feeling like they're blocked or trapped in a situation when, you know, they can just get up, okay, and like jump that fence, okay? That is what, you know, I feel like they're guided to do is that they feel like they're, they're stuck or trapped in a situation. And I feel like it's a mindset also that this masculine can take control of the situation and, and allow their heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, I feel like this masculine needs to open up their heart chakra. That is what I'm seeing. But right now, I feel like this masculine is feeling withdrawn. They're, they're really to themselves. I feel like they're in hermit mode. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, they're not like out and about. They're not, they're not really being social. I feel like, you know, they're really sticking to themselves and really trying to find like what really makes them happy. Because I feel like this mask on is really secluding themselves, you know, they're, they're not really opened up from what I can feel. <clears throat> so feminines. Oh, we have your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. So you have that intuition. Now is your lucky time, feminines. I really feel like, you know, fall is here. Because I see like there is like this fall leaf on the back of this this bunny, okay? And like I said, you know, you're just playing the mama role, okay? Or you're very nurturing, you know, if you're a masculine. Um, but I really feel like, you know, now's the time to procreate. <laughs> you know, it's that bunny, bunny season and you're just feeling intuitive that your masculine is really thinking about you at this time. But, you know, I feel like you know that your, your masculine is keeping themselves stuck. But they are definitely feeling <clears throat> this passion or desire towards you, feminines. That's what I'm feeling so far. And also, finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So feminines, I really feel like, you know, yes, you are tending to yourself, you know, you're working on your craft, you're working on your finances and career, okay? That is what I'm seeing, you know? I feel like you're just more focused on you in this now moment, and masculines are, are you know, working on themselves. That is what I'm seeing. Like, you, you intuitively know that your masculine, you feel your masculine, but while, you know, you guys are, are working on you, you feel like, you know, they're, they're going to come when, when they're ready. Because I feel like, you know, they still, like, have some healing work to do. But I feel like it's at the end. 
because they definitely want their happy ending, but they're not feeling it right now. Okay, and you feel this. That's what I'm seeing so far. So let me go ahead and jump into the tarot. And for today, I'm using the Tarot de la Nuit, okay, because it's a little bit of a darker energy. That's what I was feeling. A little bit of darkness. I mean, it's kind of like overcast today. And it's Wednesday. So let's see. What energies that want to come through for today for this Divine Masculine and Feminine Collective? What energies that want to come through for today's spirit? What is the energies that want to come through for today? We have here the Hierophant, okay? Divine masculines are really thinking about, you know, taking this relationship with their feminine to the next level. Do you see, like, this masculine is sitting on his little throne and he's there all alone. I feel like, you know, he is, like, learning about, like, himself, okay, and about his spirituality. You know, that's why I see that it's time for this masculine to dive deep into their swan spirit. Like really looking into like who they are and what they want and learning to free themselves from any kind of limitations of belief, okay, like past belief systems and being open, okay, because <clears throat> they know that there's something more to what's going on in their life and they're really looking for their happy ending, okay, and that is the feeling I'm getting so far. And here we have three of wands. This masculine is planning. They're looking forward towards the future. And I really see you know, the futures towards their feminine. <clears throat> and as you can see, like this feminine, okay, you know, is holding the world, okay? She's holding the, the oh, well, it's a skull. You know, I feel like, you know, she, like this is intuition to me, guys. She knows that her masculine is coming, you know? Really, deep down inside, she feels this from what I can feel. And also, we have here Queen of Swords. This feminine is, is seeking the truth from her masculine. And I see that this feminine is patiently waiting for her masculine. Again, I just feel like this is intuition. This feminine knows, okay, that, that the truth will be spoken by their divine masculine and their energy is slowly approaching towards them you know this masculine is really thinking right now okay they're thinking about freeing themselves you know ready to to make uh that that leap of faith from what i can feel to approach their feminine and here we have five of swords but it came up in reverse you know this is actually pretty good i feel like this masculine is getting out of this mindset okay of you know just just uh like being between uh two people they're no longer wanting to stab anyone in the back and you know in the upright it looks kind of serious right but i feel like they're ready to release that energy from what i can feel okay they no longer want to be you know trapped in their minds about this situation because you know it's time for this masculine to really free themselves from their thoughts that is what I'm feeling, you know? And I feel like this masculine knows that it's kind of like self-sabotage of what they're feeling, you know, especially towards their feminine. They really need to take that leap of faith because here we have the moon. And, and I feel like this could be the feminine energy coming through. You know, they're feeling, you know, uh, with the moon energy, that intuition of their masculine, you know, energy, you know, coming forward towards them. You know, and here they're patiently waiting for their masculine, what I can feel. But, you know, this feminine can really feel, you know, that, that guidance, okay? It's like their intuition is peaked and they know that their masculine is really or truly working on themselves. And also, if this is the masculine energy, I really feel like, you know, they're facing their fears or their shadows, okay? And what are that they held, held uh, kept secret? inside ready to reveal themselves their true selves that they held deep inside 
And here we have Knight of Pentacles. I really feel like your masculine is going to approach their feminine, okay, in the physical. That is what I'm feeling. They're going to come in, you know, kind of like, um, you know, not as a king per se, but, you know, as this knight. You know, so, someone that, you know, isn't really sure of themselves, but they're ready to, to at least reach out and communicate to you, okay? At least something. That is what I'm feeling. They're ready to cut out, like, you know, anything, you know, that was kind of blocking this connection. You know, freeing themselves. That's why I feel like, you know, they're, they're holding that, um, that scythe, you know, or, or that, uh, whatever that thing is called. that long blade <laughs> that's what I'm seeing all right so here we have ace of pentacles I really feel like there is like this new beginning okay that this masculine wants to you know give to their feminine but also I see here this feminine energy more than anything this feminine wants to offer their masculine a new beginning in the physical they want to have something long term, okay? Right now, this feminine is working on their career and finances, okay? And this is a lucky time, you know, like with this feminine's intuition, they know that their masculine is freeing themselves from whatever situations that are holding them back because the passion is there. And it just takes a little bit of courage for this masculine to really approach this feminine. But this new beginning is here, and I see it, okay? It's the first card that shows up. And next we have here, Ten of Cups. This is so beautiful. You know, I really feel that this feminine wants to be happy, okay? They feel the love from their masculine but right now you know they're all alone you know and i feel like this feminine has created their own ten of cups by working on themselves on in their finances and career they know that their masculine is their soulmate okay but you know while they're they're uh creating things on their own i really feel like you know they're, they're practicing patience you know and just wondering you know, when masculine, are you ready to free yourself from your limiting beliefs and your thoughts so that we can have the happy ending, okay? That is what I'm feeling. I'm here to give you your happy ending, Divine Masculines. When are you coming? This feminine is, you know, is open up to their intuition. I feel like this is through telepathy from what I can feel. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, guys. And then next, we have here the Seven of Wands. You know, this feminine is like standing their ground and really defending this connection. Because this feminine, you know that this is your soulmate from what I can feel. And you're, you'll do whatever it takes to, you know, to uphold or upkeep your side, okay, of, you know, uh, the connection here. Like, you are a warrior, feminine. So you are very strong. You're very powerful. You're very beautiful or handsome, from what I can see. And, you know, I just see that this feminine, you're, you're very strong. You know, it's almost like a masculine but feminine energy. I feel like this feminine is really balanced within themselves, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting here. And, you know, and you'll take whatever that comes at you. This could be a karmic situation. This could be a personal circumstance. It does not matter with this feminine. You can you can defend yourself, okay? That is what I'm seeing. You can defend yourself and you can defend this connection and you know what's coming to you. That is what I'm seeing. You're ready for something long-term in the physical because you have fought. You have fought for this. And, you know, like you don't, you don't take no for an answer. That's what I'm feeling. Like, you you know what is coming to you, feminines. Okay? That is what I'm seeing. And also, we have here two of swords. And I really feel like, you know, this is in making decision. And I really feel like you're going to follow your heart. Because I see that you're holding like this conch shell, you know, by your bosom. 
you know, and with the conch shell, I feel like that's communication. You're feeling the call, you're feeling the vibrations within your heart, and you feel like your masculine is really calling to you. That is why, you know, you're holding space for your divine masculine, from what I can feel, you know, still holding space, defending this connection, knowing that you have made this Ten of Cups, this, this you know, celebration, this joyfulness, this happiness within yourself, and you found peace within yourself, knowing that whenever this masculine is ready, you're ready for them. It just takes the courage of this masculine to claim their happy ending because you're ready, you're ready and willing to give it to them. That is what I'm seeing so far. That's really beautiful, guys. And then also we have here the Knight of Swords and here comes this Divine Masculine speaking their truth. They have arrived, guys, okay? This Masculine, I feel like, is going to arrive in the winter months. That's what I'm seeing because I see her snow. And if it's snowing in your area already, you know, I feel like this masculine is going to come, you know, with their, their truth, guys. They're ready to really reveal themselves because they have been holding back, you know, because I see that their sword is down, their head is down, and I feel like they're ready to give in, okay, and have like this heart-to-heart -heart conversation because, you know, they were holding themselves back of really communicating to this feminine that is what i'm feeling and not really revealing you know how passionate that they were you know towards their feminine and now i feel like slowly this masculine is allowing for their heart and soul to sing with joy to open up and express this because more than anything they want their happy ending guys and they they weren't letting you know how they really felt about you that is the feeling I'm getting, and it's time for them to, to dive deep within the soul, okay, of the depths of the heart to express it. They have yet to do this. That is what I'm feeling. And I really feel like, you know, they know that they wanted to give this feminine, you know, at least a new beginning in the physical. And this masculine, I feel, they, they have traveled, okay, and it has taken them some time to have this courage to come forth and communicate this to you okay that is what i'm seeing and also we have here page of pentacles you know and this is in the heart of this reading you know i really feel like feminines you want to offer your masculine okay like i guess your forgiveness you're ready and willing to do it, okay? You have received this communication from this masculine, and it could be quick communication or small communication. You know, this masculine, you know, I feel like it's taking them a lot to really express this fully to you, feminines. But I see that you're receiving this well, and, you know, I feel like, you know, you're receiving this energy you know, this could be through telepathy too, guys, you know, this communication could be telepathic communication because this masculine, his sword is down, so he still hasn't really communicated, but he's thinking about it. He's, he's in like solitude, really thinking about it. Feminines, and I feel like you're re receiving uh, this communication through the 5D and you see this because you're very intuitive. You know, you're a very strong person. That That's the feeling I'm getting. Very strong, very, you know, uh, caring. You know, and you're very aware with your senses that your masculine wants to communicate to you their truth, but they haven't yet so far. And if they have, it's very small communication. Like, they really haven't truly told you everything. But I see that they're ready. You know, they're on the brink. Also, we have here strength. Exactly. You know, I feel like, you know, with the strength card, this masculine really needs the strength of this feminine and their forgiveness of this feminine for them to really come forward and speak their truth. Okay. They really need to know if it's okay for them to express themselves. And feminines, you're feeling this with your heart. 
I feel like through telepathy, you're feeling this from your masculine. That is what I'm feeling, you know? And, you know, this is a lucky time for you feminines, you know, because you're so gifted, you know? Like, I really feel like, you know, you're, aware, you're well aware through your intuition about what is about to happen. Because this masculine is almost ready to free themselves. They're almost ready, okay? And here we have Six of Swords. Feminines, you're ready to release the past and move forward, okay? And and offer peace to this masculine. I really feel that. You know, I really feel like you're, you're, not, you're very giving, you're very kind, you're very caring, you know, uh, you're very compassionate, you know, and you have like this uh, unconditional love for your masculine. You know, you're sitting very tall like an empress. That's what I'm seeing, you know? And I see that the light is coming out from your heart chakra, your throat chakra, okay? That is what I'm seeing. This masculine is in a dark place, guys. They're, they're closed off. They need to free themselves. The passion is there, but, you know, they, they still need a little bit of courage to do it. That's what I'm feeling. And then here we have Seven of Cups. This feminine, you know, I feel that you're really thinking of your masculine. You're trying to send your, your masculine telepathic communication that it's okay for you to reach out and communicate to me. That's what I'm feeling. I'm sending you my light and love, you know, making it okay so that you'll have the strength to open up and free yourself from blocking yourself off. That is the feeling that I'm getting, guys. Very intuitive reading today. This is about, you know, a feminine who hasn't communicated with their masculine very intuitive sending your masculine light and love your masculine is feeling it they they know energetically they they want to but they still don't have enough courage to do it because they're happy ending they're not happy right now but this feminine has the key to this masculine's happiness they have the light it's like you guys are each other's puzzle piece from what i can feel that is what I'm seeing, guys. You know, and I really feel like this full moon is very strong for this feminine. Very, you know, like your your psychic gifts are, are like tenfold. That's what I'm feeling. Very psychic from what I can feel. If not psychic, very intuitive. You're feeling your masculine or sending your masculine, you know, your energy from what I can feel. Because you know that this masculine is your soulmate. You know, in your 3D physical life, feminines. You really focus on your career, you know, your finances, but your intuition is heightened. It's very strong right now. That's what I'm feeling. And counting this reading, we have here Six of Cups. What did I say? Feminines, you're really reminiscing on the past and you're, you're sitting out there by the door waiting for your masculine to return. That is the feeling I'm getting. You know that your masculine is coming. That is what I'm feeling. You're putting the light on, you know, just saying, hey, it's okay. It's okay for you to come, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You know, it's time for you to, to come forward towards me and free yourself because the passion is still there. And this mask really has to dive deep and feel that it's okay for them to come and communicate to their feminines guys so far this is very strong on the feminine side from what i can feel very strong you know the masculine's feeling really weak you know because they feel trapped or blocked okay and this could be their intuition too but also i feel like it's self-sabotage they're self-sabotaging their opportunity to reach out and connect with their feminine because they they really don't feel like they have it all together, at least not just yet. And this feminine is sending uh, the masculine telepathic communication to let them know that it's okay. 
because they have the light up, guys, okay? They want they want a reconciliation. They're thinking of their masculine, you know? That is what I'm feeling. It's okay to come home, you know? That is what I'm feeling. Their door is open, you know? Look, the, the fire is on, on the inside, okay? It might be cold outside, but I have a warm fire waiting for you on the inside. Come on in. Let's talk. That is the feeling I'm getting. And this feminine knows that it is a lucky time, you know, for them to be with their masculine. That is what I'm feeling, guys. Wow, that's so beautiful. It's very touching, you know, from what I can feel. So let me go ahead and pull some Lenormand, okay, and see what is the union energy looking like for this divine couple? What is the union energies looking like for this divine couple? What is the union energy like for spirit? Overall, we have here the magnifying glass looking at things, you know, very closely. That is why, you know, this is the first card that came out. For masculines, it's time for a deep dive, okay? And they are looking very deeply into this connection, really looking at it, okay? Like really seeing, you know, what this connection is. And, you know, they're really, they're, I feel like this masculine is really going in hermit mode, man. You know, I feel like they're, they're really reflecting very deeply about themselves and this connection, you know, and this feminine too. You, you have like this intuition, you're seeing things like in a different way, like really looking, honing in, you know, because you're feeling it with your intuition and you're just looking at, you know, what you see externally is not what you're feeling on the inside because through your intuition, you know, that you're feeling your masculine is what I'm feeling. You know that your masculine is stuck in a situation. They're stuck in their mind or stuck in a physical circumstance. And you know that they can break free from it because it's self-limiting thoughts. Okay. If this masculine really wanted to, if they had the courage and the strength to do so, they can jump this fence. That is what I'm feeling. They can jump that fence. They don't have to sit there you know, and, and feel like they're, they're stuck because they really aren't because on the outside of that gate, it's so beautiful, you know, outside of that gate is their happy ending, but you know, they're still stuck in whatever situation they're in and feminines, you are ready to give your masculine this ace of pentacles, this brand new beginning in the physical, you know, I feel like, you know, like whatever, you know, whatever it takes, you know, you're, you're ready to do it because you've been through it. That's what I'm seeing. And here we have the clouds. I really feel like, you know, there there is like some sort of uncertainty. There's darkness and lightness, yin and yang. Okay, masculine and feminine energy. I feel like something is brewing. And if you guys were in the dark, which I feel is like the masculine energy, there is light. Okay, that is what I'm seeing. And both divine counterparts are really thinking about each other, about their past. And I feel like this masculine is wanting to take action and get out of this energy and freeing themselves so that they can, you know, enjoy this passion with their feminine guys. Okay, they're really thinking of their happy ending because right now they're not happy. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Also, we have her anchor. Okay. I feel like both divine counterparts are really working on something solid and grounded in the physical life. And, you know, both counterparts may have some fears or anxieties when it comes to their stability. I feel like everything is still up in the air, you know, and you guys are looking, uh, you know, from a distance, from a worldly perspective, from what I can feel, about like, you know, something long term. That is what I'm feeling. That's why both counterparts are really looking at the situation. I feel like feminines, you're more, you know, in your 5D, even though that you're grounded in, in the 3D. Divine and masculines, they are, you know, trying to access their 5D, 
because I seen it with the Hierophant, okay, because that was the overall energy here. This is the masculine showing up in the overall energy, wanting, you know, a higher level of commitment, tapping into their spirituality and their spiritual growth, learning, you know, from esoteric knowledge, from what I can feel, and it's time for them to dive deep into their spirituality, okay? That is what I'm feeling, and I really feel like this masculine is wanting something more, something deep something really connected with their feminine you know but this masculine knows that they have to reach out okay and free themselves from whatever that they have kept themselves uh, held stuck in their circumstance okay up to this point and finally we have here the tower okay i really feel like you know this is, you know, both counterparts like leaving the past behind and moving forward towards something that is more stable, okay? Both you guys are looking at each other from a distance. I really feel like this is for divine couples who are not in communication, okay, who are separated. That is what I'm feeling. No communication or, or in separation, okay? Or if you have very little communication, this is what they're feeling. But, you know, this, this this is a really general energy, but, you know, I really feel like this is, you know, no communication for for this uh, divine couple from what I can feel. So, you know, you guys are really thinking about each other and thinking about the future, thinking about, like, stability, you know, um, getting out of the darkness from what I can feel and coming into the light, knowing your truth, okay? And wanting to reconnect with each other. Both counterparts want to connect. That is what I'm seeing so far. Wow. So, <clears throat> I would like to read, okay, what this swan spirit says, okay? Let me go ahead and do that because I feel like there's more messages in here for this, uh, this spirit animal. And it's a number 60. Okay, divine masculines with their graceful long necks swans are able to reach into the depths when the swan spirit arrives you are called to take a deep dive beyond what is easily available on the surface exactly okay you may think you know what is best for you now but take the plunge into the depths of your awareness for there is knowledge that you are not aware of and great treasures to discover deeper understanding awaits you and a perspective that comes from greater self-knowledge is what you need right now to better understand a situation or relationship as you come to know yourself more intimately so Okay, as you come to know yourself more intimately, so too will you come to better know others. So Swan Spirit asks you to go beyond the surface of what is happening between you and others and resist the temptation to judge by superficial appearances. Know that there is much deeper potential for loving connections, forgiveness, and mutual understanding. Choose to dive deep into your why asking the deeper questions of yourself you are led by the grace of swan spirit exactly guys i can't make this stuff up this masculine okay the the overall energy here is of the hierophant this is where the masculine comes in looking into their spirituality looking about like a higher level commitment you know just figuring out themselves why not looking at things superficially okay and that is what i'm seeing with this free yourself they you know i feel like it's self-sabotage okay whatever that is in their physical surroundings okay and they're not seeing you know beyond what what is in the physical and this mask on is learning to access their spirituality something deeper okay and into the why you know that is so beautiful guys this very deep message here you know they know that there is passion between you two you know, because in their heart, their soul is singing with joy when it comes to their feminine. That is what I'm seeing here, okay? Protection message. 
don't talk yourself into diving deep into something just because you see the potential of things instead of what they really are now. The necessary work and patience involved may not be the best use of energy. Have you seen the potential in someone and think that if you love and support them, they will become the person who knows you love them beyond all others? Exactly, and I feel like this is the karmic, okay? Have you stepped into an opportunity that you know feels too good to be true and might not turn out the way you hope? <laughs> that is the, the twin flame. That is the divine feminine, okay? <laughs> Now is not the time for selective, limited perception that can lead to misjudgment. Instead, this is the time for going deep and being honest about what you find as you explore the depths. Have no fear, for whatever you find below will help you love and understand yourself and others and make better choices. Can you sense Swan Spirit calling you to dive deep and resurface to choose again? Guys, I can't make this stuff up. Like really, I really feel like this masculine chose something superficial that was on a superficial level that thought that, you know, what they thought was true love wasn't, okay? Thinking that if they love someone and making something work, you know, then it would work, you know, into something that will come into fruition. But like with the feminines, okay, they probably pushed the feminine away, try, you know, probably like didn't really think about like about this connection because it was too deep and they couldn't really understand like what this connection was, knowing that their feminine never did them wrong, that they were always truthful to their masculine, you know, they never hurt their masculine, you know, but they chose a different path from what I can feel. And now is the time for this masculine to really dive deep and see, like, you know, what is this love connection that they have with their feminine? They have to be honest with themselves, really honest, and think about what has the karmic given to their masculine? What has the feminine given to their masculine? Really compare and really choose wisely. That is, that is why this swan spirit is here. It's time for this masculine to dive deep, okay? And to free themselves from their limiting beliefs. That is what I'm feeling. Wow, that is deep, guys, all right? So, feminines, rabbit spirit, 49. And I really feel like it's good. <laughs> what is this bunny up to, you know? <laughs> all right. A sunny meadow calls and rabbit spirit appears to lead you out of your dark warren and to the light so that you can participate in a fertile and beautiful experience. It may seem safe below ground, but the magic happens when you come out and take the risk of being vulnerable and co-creating something new. Oh, look at this. So feminines, if you have been ghosting yourself, blocking yourself off and hiding from your masculine, it's time to get out of your little rabbit hole and, and be a little bunny out in the opening gathering food and, you know, <laughs> you know, just going out there. It's time for you to get out of your, your bunny hole, okay? You're being invited into a new life that you have no experience with, but have no fear. Today is also a time to be fruitful and productive as you enjoy uh, rabbit spirit sunny and prolific energy. At this time, whatever you intend to bring to life will find fertile ground. There are, no, uh, there are no mistakes, really, when you are co-creating with spirit. So let new ideas spring to the surface, knowing, knowing that now is a lucky time of tremendous possibility. This is really beautiful. You know, what Spirit is saying is feminines, you, this is the time for you to co-create with Spirit. And I feel like it's with your finances and career. That is why, you know, if you have been in separation with your masculine, if you notice that you have been pushed, you know, with your finance and career, you know, to, uh, you know, transmute your energy from being codependent to your masculine and really focusing on your physical life because Spirit is wanting you to work okay and go into a different direction not really necessarily to a different person but so that you can find your true purpose in life and finding your own abundance that is why i feel like this feminine has their ten of cups 
You guys are good on your own. Now is the time for this masculine, you know, to free themselves so that you guys can co-create and, and be together. Because why? You have really worked on yourself. You have worked on your abundance and you're feeling good. And it's time to share your abundance with, you know, your masculine from what I can feel. This masculine needs to free themselves from their karmic situations so that they can move forward towards what is their destiny. That is what I'm feeling. So both of you can co-create and have a beautiful life. So you guys can have this happy ending. Okay? That is what I'm seeing. That is so beautiful. Wow. All right, so here we are. Protection message, vulnerability, is required as of now. Even if you don't feel safe, act as if you trust that you will be okay, and soon you will see that you are okay. To create is to take risk. So at this fortunate fertile time, banish your fears and recognize the real security is in immersing yourself in the process of co-creation. It's okay to admit that you really don't know how to deal with whatever is in front of you. This is where curiosity and not knowing where, not, not knowing can be a wonderful state of mind. Be playful now, admitting you are at the beginning of something. Come on out to frolic in the sun's nurturing light, because it is time to birth something new. Guys, this is a beautiful energy for feminines. Like feminines, this is a time for you to create something new in your life. Okay? It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone for what I can feel because it's time, I guess, for union. That's what I'm feeling. You know, your energy is attracting your mask on from what I can feel. So this is a really beautiful energy for today, guys. You know, I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.